Pottergate originally ran from Lobster Lane to Grapes Hill, but it stops now at Wellington Lane. Its name comes from the Danish word Gata, meaning street, and not gate, so it was a street where potters lived and worked. This is the corner of Dove Street and Pottergate, which once was the location of the Edinburgh pub, but the pub collapsed as a result of the after effects of a fire on the 5th of August 1898. Across the street is the church of St John Maddermarket dating from the 14th century but possibly replacing an earlier 11th century building. This picture is from 1938. Next to it is a 17th century church house pictured here in 1935, originally residential but now the Belgian monk bar. Opposite is 6 to 10 Pottergate, seen here in 1968 and here in 2022. From 1899 to 1934, the city's fire station was in Pottergate. This picture is from the year before it was relocated to Bethel Street, with the present day view looking like this. Opposite is number 17, which was used as the fireman's quarters when the fire station was across the road. This is the bird cage with work going on to reopen it as the drawing rooms. Going back in time, it had been called the Pottergate Tavern, the Brown Derby, and here, the Morning Star, as seen in 1938. The City of Norwich plan of 1945 criticised it as out of place in an ancient street. It had looked like this in 1936, and had previously been called the Morning Mail. These buildings at numbers 33 to 41 have long gone, replaced by the appropriately named Kiln House. On the far corner of Kiln House, the junction with St Lawrence Lane, was once a pub, the Builder's Arms, from 1839 to 1955. Here it is seen being demolished, although Kiln House would not be built until the 1970s. Opposite is Vantage House, built as offices for British Telecom, replacing earlier offices which had been on the site, and now redeveloped for residential purposes. Next door at number 54, from 1925 until 1981, was Shingler and Thetford's Shoe Factory, seen here in 1936 and here in 2022. They also occupied Coleman House at 63A Pottergate from 1955 to 1981. This picture predates their occupation, but does anybody know anything about these 1936 occupants, the Norwich Sports Club Limited? Its use is now residential. Comparing 1936 with 2022, this is number 56 Pottergate then and now. And opposite this is number 61 to 63, 86 years difference compared to 2022, all pretty recognisable. A little further along, these are numbers 69 to 71 in 1986 compared to 2022, and numbers 77 to 81 in 1936, and again in 2022. Opposite is the original site of the Jenny Lind Hospital, which relocated in 1900 and the site became used as a playground from 1902 until the early 1970s. For more on Jenny Lind, see the Lost Norwich video on hospitals. These are numbers 89 to 91 Pottergate in 1938 and the current view, number 91 being the home of Sarah Glover a musical educator who invented the Norwich Sol Fa system which I believe is Do Re Mi. This is number 95 at the bottom of Cow Hill in 1938, hiding somewhat in 2022. Opposite is Micawber's Tavern, seen here in 1994. It dates from 1772 and was previously called the Duke of York and the Alma. It is currently called the Chick Inn at Macorbers. Beyond Cow Hill is an undated picture of the Butterfly Cafe, together with the present view. Looking west at the rest of Pottergate from the Cow Hill Junction looks like this. And if we go back a hundred years to the 1920s, this was the view from the same location. 
This building is number 98, St Giles Church House, and in 1936 it wasn't looking quite so smart. However, back in 1900, it was a lo location of the Lying In Charity for Women in Labour. Numbers 100 to 104, seen here in 1968, is Kinghorn House, named after Joseph Kinghorn, the minister of St Mary's Baptist Church. We now have a series of photos of the north side of Pottergate, and if you went to the left of this building, you would see St Benedict's Church, which is now just a ruin. Looking back from there up to Pottergate, look like this, and now looks like this, these flats having taken the place of housing on the remainder of the street. A look at the final stretch of Pottergate currently looks like this, but looked like this in 1969, the street continuing towards a much narrower Grapes Hill. Moving across to the opposite corner of Wellington Lane Junction with Pottergate, looked like this, with the pub providing its service from 1836 to 1963.